Aren't you forgetting something? Said you were gonna be here for a month. Probably gonna need these. Thanks. Pretty creepy around these parts, huh? Yeah, well, my aunt and uncle should be here any minute, so... I heard a story once about a headless ghost supposed to be out in those woods. And every night when the moon is full, he haunts the forest seeking revenge. Give me back my head. Give me back my head. Don't you have some kind of schedule to keep? You'll be all right, kid. Sun should be coming out. Eventually. Have a nice night. <laughs> Enter today. Chiller Magazine's Shutter Shot Contest. Send in a picture that will make our readers shudder. First prize, $1,000. Hmm. that name.
Careful, city boy. That might be a killer bunny. Uncle Carl. <laughs> How you doing, Chief? Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Sorry I'm late. Jeep's been acting up lately. So, your birthday present still working? Yeah, I was wondering if you and Aunt Marta could take me on one of your shoots. You know, give me a couple of tips or something. Yeah, not much to it, just point and snap. Subject is what's important. You gotta find that one thing that nobody's ever seen before and show it to them. Hopefully, in purpose. Have you heard from Mom and Dad yet? Yeah, they called from London this morning. They arrived safe and sound. Let's hope that we can do the same. What do you mean? Fasten your seatbelt. We're gonna take a shortcut. <laughs> Coaster. <laughs> you got in that Jeep with him? You're lucky to be alive. I resent that. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Marta. Oh, look how big you're getting. What are you, eight feet tall now? Alex brought his camera with him. He's hoping we'll give him a lesson or two. I'm entering a photography contest. First prize is a thousand bucks, and your picture goes on the cover of Chiller Magazine. Chiller Magazine. And what kind of pictures are they looking for, as if I have to ask? Something scary. It's supposed to make the reader shudder. Well, Chief, you'll be out of luck around here. I'm afraid he's right. There's nothing particularly scary about Wolf Creek. What about that place? Uh, that's the Marlene's house. You want to stay away from that couple. They're crazy. Honey, don't say crazy. They're just eccentric. They're nuts. It's probably a good idea just to leave them alone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? I'm making French toast for breakfast only by the smell of things. I think it just became charcoal. Bet I can get some great shots in there. Alex, rule number two. If you want to be a good photographer, don't leave your camera in the Jeep. Right. What's rule number one? Take some pictures. Thanks. Don't bite. I just didn't expect to see anybody here. I come here all the time. 
I love this forest. You know they're gonna cut it all down and put up a mall? Like we need any more video arcades. I'm Anna Stoneman. Alex Blackwell. Yeah, I know. Colin Marty's nephew, right? The city boy. Yeah, I guess. Come on, let me give you a tour. Cool. That's a tree. Oh. And that's a rock. And that's flying thing, there's a bird. Really? Wow, thanks! What a great guide. So what's it like living in the city? Okay, I guess. There's lots to do. Sometimes it gets kind of crowded and noisy, but you get used to it. I'd like to go there sometime. What do you mean? Never been to a city? I've never been out of Wolf Creek. Wow. So what do you and your friends do for fun around here? Friends? Well, um, I mostly just hang out with myself. I like to be alone. Why? The sun's going down. We better get home. Hannah, wait up. What's the rush? The woods aren't really safe after dark. Why? Is that when the monsters come out or something? That's not funny, Alex. Gee, it's just a joke. Hannah, wait a second. I want to get a picture of this. Cool. Got it. Hannah? Hannah? Great. Thanks a lot. Come to the country a while, Alex. Get back to nature, Alex. Yeah, right. We then came that way and... No, it was that way. Or was it that way? <gasps> Hannah? Hannah, is that you? Just another rabbit. That's no rabbit. After dark, it's not safe. And what did we say about the Marlings? But something was after me. It was... What did we say about the Marlings? Not to bother them. I know. But... Then it had better not happen again. Come on. Where's Uncle Colin? Shooting. We've been waiting for you to come home for over an hour, but he finally had to go on ahead. Can I come too? No. Look, Alex, we're working on a special project tonight, and the fewer bodies we have around, the better. What's the project? Oh, Alex, I don't have time for all these questions, all right? I want you to get in that house and stay there. Is that understood? Tell us what this word means. Anyone? What about you, Alex? Well, it's like a fairy tale. It's a, a lie that people believe in because they don't know the real reason for things. That's very good, Alex. That's very good, Alex. Do you have something to add, Sean? Yeah. Just because something's a legend doesn't mean it's not true. Yeah. Not true. Well, do you uh, care to give us an example, Sean? Sure. How about werewolves? <laughs> Werewolves. You think that's funny? Well, yeah, I mean, no one believes in werewolves. Right? <coughs> right?
Do you believe the legend, Sean? Some of it. Like if someone is bit by a werewolf, they'll be cursed. And when the moon is full, they'll turn into a werewolf too. Yeah. Werewolf. And you can only kill him with a silver bullet, right? That's the part of the legend that's not true. What really happens is when the sun rises, the werewolf sheds its skin. And if someone finds the skin and destroys it before the next full moon is at its highest point, the curse is over. And the werewolf inside the person dies. Yeah. Dies. Where did you hear that legend, Sean? Around. If you live in Wolf Creek long enough, you hear lots of things. Or you go crazy. <laughs> For tomorrow, remember to read chapter 13. You think I'm funny, huh? Is that why you were laughing at me? Yeah, laughing at him. Look, I didn't mean anything, okay? It's just you two look like, uh... Pretty intelligent guys. And I'm surprised you believe in something as stupid as werewolves. It's not stupid, man. It's true. And we can prove it. If you're brave enough. Yeah, brave enough. How? Out behind the Marling's house is a fallen tree that goes right across Wolf Creek. You know where that is? Yeah, what about it? That's where the werewolves go to drink water out of the river. Meet us there, midnight tonight. It gets your proof. Unless you're a chicken. Yeah, chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Zip it, Arjun. Can I bring my camera? It's a free country. OK, I'm there. Midnight. See you tonight. Maybe I'll get a picture. Sean and Arjun said to you about tonight. You're not gonna go, are you? Are you kidding? None of those guys think I'm chicken or something? No way. But Alex, it's in the woods after dark. I told you before, it's not safe. And I get a grip. It's not like I'm gonna be alone in there or anything. Besides, if something does come after us, it'll go for Sean first. He's big, he's a better meal. This isn't a joke, Alex. You could get hurt. Nothing's gonna happen. My aunt and uncle are going out on another shoe tonight. I'll wait until they're gone, meet up with Beavis and Butthead, take a couple pictures and be back before any werewolves even know I'm there. Oh, they'll know, Alex, and they'll find you. Please, don't tell me you believe in that stuff, too. Please don't go. Man, these people are weird.
it easy. What is going on in here? Ask your nephew. He's the one holding the Ibex. It was the Marlings. What about them? They came over for a little visit last night. And guess what? They're werewolves. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And how do you explain this? Uh, well, I... It must have been a bear or something, a, 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 a rabbit fox. A rabbit fox. It wasn't a fox. I saw it. It was part animal, part human. It, it had fangs and, and claws and pointy ears. Sorry, but that's a werewolf. And I said the woods weren't safe, and now I know why. Oh, you've been talking to Hannah. Alex, Hannah's older brother was bitten by a wolf a year ago, right out behind the Marlings. The wolf was never caught, but Hannah has spent days out there trying to find it. Yeah, that's why we locked you in. We couldn't risk having you wandering around in the woods. Or bothering the Marlings. Oh, right. Let's be polite to the werewolves next door. The Marlings are werewolves? Are you sure? I should be. They were trying to get in my window. That's weird. Werewolves don't usually climb. Oh, yeah, and how many werewolves have you seen? Lots of them. Excuse me? In the woods. That's what I've been trying to warn you about. I didn't tell you at first. Because I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. That's why my brother ran away. He tried to tell people what he saw. But they wouldn't listen. Nobody believed him. Hannah, I believe you. I guess I've always been around. They used to be able to hide in the woods. You know, get food and stuff. Except now, with all the trees being chopped down, and the city's taking up so much space, there's no room for them anymore. They've got to go someplace. That must be what my aunt was talking about. She said they were working on some kind of secret project. They must be taking pictures of werewolves for the government. You know, some kind of bizarro X-Files thing. So what are you going to do now? Well, first, I'm going to forget about the Chiller Magazine contest. <laughs> good idea. This is too good for them. I'm going big time. Newsweek. No, people. No, even better. National exposure. Alex, no! What happened to you last night? We waited for an hour out there. Arjun almost got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Yeah, they like my blood. I didn't have to go to the woods to see any werewolves. They came to me. What? Uh-huh, right up to my house. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. OK, I'll prove it to you. Tonight, meet me at the Marling House. Midnight. That is, if you're not chicken. Cluck. 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 Thank you for calling National Exposer. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Alex Blackwell. I was just wondering, how much would you pay for a picture of a real werewolf? Hannah told me what happened. She said you were coming back out here again tonight. I, I couldn't let you face the werewolves alone. You believe in the werewolves? Of course I do, Alex. I have to. Why? That's it. 
no more chocolate bars before bed. No picture, no money, no cover, nothing. Oh, no. Hey, Marta. Uncle Colin? No! Alex, French toast? Um, I'm not really hungry. Well, come on, Chief. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Okay. We'll take a seat then. Right. Sit. last night. Fine. Why? Well, the bed in the guest room is pretty hard. We could get you a new mattress if you want. No, it's fine. The mattress is fine. I like that mattress. I, I love that mattress. <laughs> you aren't eating? Uh, no, thanks. We had a bite. We had a bite. We had a bite last night. School? School. Yeah. I'm gonna be late for school. See ya. Late? It's seven o'clock. So there really is no couple called the Marlings? No, my aunt and uncle just made them up. They pretend someone lives there, but it's just an empty house. A place for them to keep their rules. It's just up here. Where? It was right here. Their Jeep, all their stuff. It was torn apart. Alex, I just thought of something. How, what if some night they turn into werewolves and come into your room and tear you apart? I think that's why they lock me in. They're not doing it to trap me. It's to keep themselves out. They're trying to protect me. There's got to be some way to break this curse. They're my aunt and uncle. I gotta help them. Yeah. Alex, um, may I speak with you for a moment, please? Um, 
I hope our little talk yesterday didn't scare you off living here in Wolf Creek. About the werewolves? Mm -hmm. See, I I'm afraid Sean has a rather overactive imagination. Unfortunately, it's the only thing about him that is. What if it was true? What if there really was a werewolf and it was someone you knew? What would you do? Well, I don't know. Um, but we're, we're never going to have to find out about that, are we? And werewolves are just legends, aren't they? Well, I, I gotta go. I, I, my aunt's making pizza waffles and she hates it when I'm late. Alex, be very careful. Sometimes legends bite. not. It'll never be over, Alex. Never. Hannah? Hannah, where are you going? Oh. Change your mind? <sighs> okay, who's out there? seen your face. Yeah, your face. 
You guys better get out of here. Why? Afraid your werewolf's gonna get us? You don't really think we believe in that junk, do you? <laughs> do ya? But it's true. The legend is true. Sure. You want a werewolf? I got your werewolf right here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> like looking at trees. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. All that and I still didn't get a decent shot for the Chiller magazine. Well, maybe next time. Next time? I hope not. Thank you. 